For those of you that don't know, I'm Maggie, and today we are unboxing the Winter Fab Fit Fun box. And I'm very proud of this box for being here on time because last season I had to wait for this to ship for like a month and a half or something like that. And my friend said the same thing, so I know I'm not alone there. And she also had an early winter box. So maybe they were kind of like making up for it or they switched the shipping order or something like that. I don't really know. But as always, we're gonna start with the add-ons and then we'll jump into the nitty gritty of the winter box. If you're new to FabFitFun, one thing that you may not even know, so let me explain this about the add-ons, is that each season, and in between seasons, but we're not even gonna go there, they offer all of these additional opportunities to shop for discounted items. Now, they do a pretty good job of curating this per season, and so, for instance, the first one that I ended up picking up is this little wine gift bag. It's from Kate Spade, and it says Bottoms Up with this little Santa on it. And I just thought that this was cute, especially if you're gifting wine, it just kind of elevates it a little bit and you're not just like handing over a bottle of wine. And I figured this is something that's super nice. Somebody could keep it and re-gift it later and then it's just kind of like the gift that keeps on giving. Now they never include the prices that I paid for these, so I'm gonna try to remember, but I noticed that on this tag, it typically retails for 20 bucks. And I think that I ended up paying like 12 or so dollars for this. So it's definitely not cheap, but I thought that this is cute, I don't know. Maybe I'll use it for something else around the house and then not gift it, maybe just like put it on the counter because I just love this little tipsy Santa kind of thing. <laughs> Next, I picked up this little living proof set and I'm a little disappointed because it seems that the conditioner exploded a little bit in transit. I did my best to wash them off and I'm pretty sure that if I contact customer service, they'll send me a new bottle, which happened to me once with a product that came in the box. I got a highlighter that was completely broken and they ended up just refunding me the price of whatever that highlighter was worth. So that was kind of cool. So just know that FabFitFun does have pretty good customer service. So this is the Living Proof Restore Shampoo, Conditioner, and this little repair leave-in. I've had this before and absolutely loved it. And you all know that I swear by like leave-in conditioning products or heat protectants for your hair. I think that if you're somebody that uses hot tools at all, like blow drying your hair, curling it, straightening it, what have you, you need to be using something like this. Not all leave-in conditioners are heat protectant, so keep that in mind, but I think any additional surge of moisture definitely keeps your hair healthier, in my opinion. I've never tried their Restore shampoo and conditioner before, but I was completely out of shampoo and conditioner when all of this rolled around, so I've legitimately been using travel bottles of shampoo and conditioner to tide me over until this came in. Living Proof is one of my favorite hair care brands. All of their products just smell so good and high quality, like you just stepped out of the salon kind of scent. I wanna say that I got this three pack for like $19 or something like that, which is nuts because I'm pretty sure that like just this product is more than that full price. I also ended up getting what's called the tap out resistance bands. We have a Peloton at home and I also have some hand weights and some bala bangles and we're just trying to collect little things to kind of enhance our at home workout situation. I thought that these were a handy thing to have because you can make this type of exercise, you know, when you step on it and you can do like bicep curls or you can do like triceps. These are pretty versatile little resistance bands. And I want to say that this whole thing was only like nine bucks too. I ended up getting this little Becca trial size set and it came with the Hydramist set and refresh powder and this is really the reason I bought this because I've been really wanting to try it. Everybody says that it has this very like cooling water-like effect on your skin, but it's a loose setting powder. It's crazy and I've just wanted to try it. It also came with this Becca backlight priming filter, which has been one of my favorites for years. I am not a primer person, but in the winter when my skin is extra dry and just needs a little bit of life and luminosity, I love to use this primer. Anyway, I thought that these would be great little travel companions with really high quality products. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes I feel like I'm sacrificing some of my favorite products when I travel. But okay, that is all of the add-ons. So now on to the items that actually came in my winter box. Every season they do include some sort of magazine. It used to be kind of like a newspaper and then they switched over to this, but there's a page in here that tells you all of the different items that could have come in your box, the different customization options. And I am an annual subscriber or as they call it, a select member. So that means that I get to customize the maximum amount of products in my box 
which is typically like five to six items per season, just depending on the total number of items that come in the box. And every season they also have items that nobody gets to pick, regardless of the type of subscriber that you are. Those are always just kind of the little surprises that are thrown in there for you. So I will be sure to read through this magazine, tell you the prices of everything, what my other options were, and why I ended up choosing what's in my box. So let's get started with the biggest thing, which is one that I'm probably most excited about, but definitely did not need. And that is this set of two Lily Pulitzer mugs. I'm gonna open these up for you because they are so cute. Here's what the mugs look like, and they are dishwasher and microwave safe. And I made sure of that before I actually went and chose this item because there's nothing I hate worse than having to wash like a one-off mug. I really like this print, just kind of the purple, blues, greens. I love a good mug that has a flat bottom because I'm somebody that always uses a coffee warmer. It sits on my desk where I work every single day, and if it doesn't have a flat bottom, then it doesn't heat very well with the coffee warmer and bigger mugs inherently, you know, your coffee gets colder faster. So this is just the perfect mug for me. So that set of two coffee mugs set retails for $42. And some other options that I had in that same customization set were the Caudalie Moisturizing Sorbet. This is basically just like a facial moisturizer. Another option was the Murad Rapid Collagen Infusion. The Alginus Complete Eye Renewal Balm. I have more eye creams then I can count, so that was a no. The Lucky Brand Solid Brush Scarf, this one was tempting because I truly only own infinity scarves, you know, the kind that go all the way around and don't have little tassels or anything. But I definitely don't have a scarf that has like, you know, the open end and these little fringe detail or anything. And I thought that was kind of cute and it was a very neutral color. So that one was tempting, but I ended up going with the mugs because I know ultimately they would be used a lot more. And then lastly, we could have chosen like a little vanity mirror that sits on your counter. And I think it was lighted. Yeah, an LED vanity mirror. The next customization item. I was so excited to see this. This is the Kate Spade little earring set and I just loved how classic these were. You have this beautiful just kind of cubic zirconium like studs at the top and then little pearl studs. But I did not own just like basic studs like this. I feel like I kind of like funky earrings. These were actually my wedding earrings. They're kind of like, you can wear them as ear crawlers or you can have them kind of droop down. I just didn't have anything this classic. And so I thought that this was kind of a no brainer choice for me. And another detail that I love about them is that they actually have three prongs. And I feel like more often than not, these earrings have four prongs. And so it's just this little subtle detail that makes them a little bit unique. And Kate Spade, is obviously a trusted brand. I feel like they make really high quality products. Some other options that I had in this set, one was a Vera Bradley compact organizer. And quite honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of Vera Bradley, like that style. So that one was easy for me to rule out. The next one was the Unhide Little Marshmallow Blanket, which I already own because that actually came in the winter box last year. So the other item that I almost got instead of the earrings were these really cool kind of they're like slanted champagne glasses. You can kind of see them right there in the corner. But we have so much glassware that I was like, okay, Maggie, if you're gonna get the mugs, you have to say no to these little champagne flutes. Some other options were a really cozy robe, tea seed elixir, which is just kind of like an oil for your face, and this advanced teeth whitening kit. I was having a little bit of regrets from not getting the little champagne flutes because they're so unique, but after seeing the earrings in person, I know I made the right decision. I feel like I'm gonna get so much use out of those. The next product was one that I was oddly excited for because to be honest, I have turned my nose up at these headbands because I was like, everyone and their mom has a knotted headband. Do I really need one? Probably not. But when I saw that it was in this winter box in this really fun little red velvet, kind of festive color, I was like, well, that'll be fun to wear on Christmas Eve, or I don't know. I thought it would be a fun thing to have, and I'm finally just joining the ranks of girls who have knotted headbands, I guess. I feel like everybody wears it in their hair kind of like this, which I tend to refer to as like a useless headband style. Like this isn't doing anything to hold my hair back. But I feel like I'm a big fan of actually using a headband in a useful way. What camp are you in? Like, do you like to push your hair back and use it? Or do you like to just place it in your hair? I feel like I look a little elfish like this though, now that I say that. Either way, I think that this is a super fun little accessory that I definitely didn't already own. So it just can add a little spice to my winter wardrobe coming up. So I am pretty excited to have this. All right, some other options that I had in that same headband customization set were a mascara from the brand Ilia, which is known to be a clean beauty brand, a Laura Geller cinnamon and spice eyeshadow palette, 
very tempted by that, but ultimately trying not to add to the stash of eyeshadows I already have. The Dr. Brandt Pore Purifying Cleanser, and then also the Dr. Brandt Skincare Pore Dermabrasion. I love that stuff. I think it's a wonderful face scrub, but I have face scrubs on backlog, so that was a no. And then lastly, the Maroon Velvet Headband that I ended up choosing. I really am excited for that. I think that, coupled with the little Kate Spade earrings, very cute. The next product that I was able to customize was the Tula Skincare Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. And I am so pumped for this because I was just visiting with a friend and she had this and her under eyes looked amazing. Like she always just looked so luminous and she put this on and then she would put some concealer on top of it, but it was always just kind of glowing. And so I am pumped to have this because I am somebody with the notoriously dark circles under my eyes. It says apply around the eye area for instant cooling and a rose glow. There you go, that's when my friend was glowing. Use under and over makeup as needed throughout the day for an instant pick me up. I don't know if I would be pro putting this over makeup just because I wouldn't wanna like rub my concealer around or get it on this product. So I think that I am definitely gonna first try to use this under my makeup and then go from there. Either way, now that I've seen this like in living color, seeing it work on one of my good friends, I am even more excited that I chose this. Some other options that I had in this same little customization set were the Muckluck Cabin Socks. I used to, I grew up dancing. And so on Saturday mornings when we would be at the studio, everybody would put their point shoes on and then have these mucklucks and put them over their feet while they weren't dancing to keep warm. And that's just what that reminded me of. Anyway, plenty of slippers and socks. So I knew I didn't need that, but that was nostalgic. You could have also chosen like a hair mask and scalp detox. Another option was the Flight Mode Skincare High Altitude Hydration Mask. And this came in a tube. And I've recently had this realization that I prefer sheet masks because you don't have to wash it off later. It's just so easy, it just sinks into your skin, it's serum-like, it's just so straightforward. And I know there's a lot more waste with that than there is with like these tubed masks, but I just don't find myself using them and I had to just accept that and move forward. Right, the last item that I had to customize was the Butin Butinique Beauty Oof. Guardian Angel Revitalizing Eye Gels. These are used to brighten, hydrate, and depuff the eyes, and they have ingredients like cucumber, rose extract, green tea, and hyaluronic acid. I just love the feeling of having these on and just having that cooling sensation under the eyes, so that's why I went for this. And I'm out of these. I feel like I chose the Wander Beauty Eye Masks in a previous box, and I've used those all up really quickly, so I'm really excited to have more of these kind of sitting around waiting for good use. Not that we're going to events or traveling or anything all that much, but either way, these are a fun, good little hydrating boost in the winter. Some other options that I had in this set besides the eye gels that retail for $25 were either the eye gels, which I did end up choosing, a set of four cutting boards, which were pretty cool. I love when they incorporate home stuff. And lastly, you could have chosen the DP Hue Apple Cider Vinegar Dry Shampoo Powder. So my neighbor has decided to start some yard work right in the middle of this video, but Time is of the essence, so we're gonna continue on. I apologize if you hear their leaf blower and lawnmower and everything else. The next couple of products that we're gonna talk about are all complete surprises to me because while as a select member, I do have the ability to customize most of my box, Part of it is always selected by FabFitFun. They basically pick a pool of products and then they randomly allocate them to boxes. One of the randomly allocated items that I ended up getting was the Wish Vanilla Bean Lip Scrub. This gently exfoliates, smooths, and softens. It's paraben-free, sulfate-free, phthalate-free, DEA and TEA-free, petrochemical-free, cruelty-free, Leaping Bunny certified, wow. Wish comes in every single box, legitimately. I think I've owned so many products from this brand and most of them I would say are not my absolute favorite. However, this is perfect for the winter. I love that it's a vanilla scent. I feel like that's universally accepted and so a lot of people will be okay with that. Oh, nice. This works just like a regular lip balm. I'm assuming that the scrub just comes out of that little hole right there. And I needed this so bad recently. In the winter, my lips go from like super dry to moisturize, super dry to moisturize. I feel like they have a really hard time kind of regulating in the winter. So I'm really excited to have this. Now in these especially germy times, if you were sharing this with like a family member or something, you could obviously not like rub it directly on your lips. You could just put some on your finger and then use it that way, which I probably will do because I don't want to risk any sort of dead skin or anything going back down into that hole with all the product and creating a lot of bacteria. 
but that's just me. CatFitFun nailed it with this one. I am really glad that I ended up getting this lip scrub. But some other options that I had in this same kind of random smattering of products was a Lucky Stars blemish patch. So that would have been just something that you like put on a pimple and it's supposed to just shrink it kind of overnight. And then uh, below the belt, that's the brand, Croc card case. And I'm glad that I didn't end up with that because I already have like card cases and mini wallets and everything that I love. I have finally figured out exactly what I want in that department. So yay, I'm really glad that I ended up with this super useful product. Next up, I got the Phase Zero Making Moves Blusher. This is interesting. Like this looks kind of like a red, almost terracotta kind of blush color, but I'm hoping that it's a little bit more neutral than the packaging lets on. It says this retails for $27.50 and it's a silky smooth formula that blends seamlessly onto the skin for a gorgeous flush of color. In the picture in the magazine, it looks a little shimmery. So I'm curious to see if it has kind of a glow to it. Pretty slick packaging if you ask me. I like that black on black. Yeah, this looks like a great color and it comes with a really good mirror. I can see myself definitely traveling with this. This reminds me a lot of kind of like those NARS blushes. It's almost most the same color as that orgasm blush I feel like. Very, very excited that I got this blush. So they're two for two. Let's see what other options could have come in that set. Blush, which I ended up getting. This little kind of nourishing nail paint. So you kind of just, it's a clear liquid that you brush on your nails and it's supposed to be nutrient dense. And lastly, you could have gotten the Aesthetica Liquid Eyeliner. These are all about the same price point, 21, 20, and $27. And the last kind of random product that showed up was the set of three scrunchies. These retail for $25 and it says, keep your hair out of your face with these leopard print scrunchies. Pretty straightforward. I'm not a huge scrunchie person to wear like out in public, but I do like sleeping in scrunchies because I feel like they do a better job of not creasing your hair. Not mad about having these. Would I have chosen this if I were in a store? No, probably not. So that's where subscription boxes can sometimes be a little bit frivolous. But the other option in this customization set was the Daily Concepts Daily Facial Dry Brush. And I absolutely know that's something that I would not have ended up using. So at least this is something that I know I can sleep in and use. FabFitFun killed it with them like randomly selecting my products. Like that really worked out for me this time. And I feel like on the whole, this was an extremely useful box. Like I know I'm gonna use the headband. I know I'm gonna use the earrings. I know I'm gonna use the mugs. And that's kind of the beauty of getting to customize a subscription box. All right, so that's everything for the winter 2020 FabFitFun box. But as always, I wanna give you a quick little rundown of all of the items that came in my fall 2020 box to give you an update on how they performed, if I used them, and if that box was a hit. So let's get into it. First item from the fall box, these blue light glasses. Now these I have worn kind of like, I don't know, half of the time I suppose. And I'll put these on when I notice that my contacts are kind of drying out and I'm blinking a ton because I've just been staring at the screen for so long. And I will say that when I put these on, I do feel like my eyes are straining less. Now you do have to wear them for a really long extended period of time to kind of feel those full effects, but I've noticed fewer headaches and stuff just from eye strain. And so I do think that these are doing something. Is it a placebo effect? I don't know, but I'm still very excited that I chose these. Again, they're kind of oversized. I just like the look of glasses in general. I do wear glasses. Anyway, I like these. Another item, this was one that I don't think I got to customize, but one that we have definitely used. And this is the Daniel Stone Santal Noir Room Spray. Sometimes when you just need that little like bedroom refresh, you know, it kind of smells like sleepy people or something like that. This has been awesome. Brian really likes this scent. It doesn't bother Nash our dog or anything like that. So this one was a big hit. And again, one that I wasn't able to customize. So kudos to them. Next up, the Feel Renewed Pumpkin Walnut Facial Cleanser. Have not touched this yet because I currently have another scrub in my shower, but I'm not worried about it because scrubs are something that I always use like once to twice a week. So while it takes me a long time to go through them, I always, always have one on standby. So this definitely will get some use. It just has to wait its turn. These eight other reasons clips. It probably looks like I haven't used these because they're sitting on the paper, but this is just how I store them. I have actually used these a ton and have been very 
satisfied with these because they have such a high quality clip on the back that it even keeps my super thick hair pulled back nicely and doesn't fall down or I don't know, just slide over time. These again were something I didn't already own. It's something that's a little trendy that I probably wouldn't have bought myself and was really excited that I had the option to choose these in the box because these have gotten a ton of use. Another item that I can't physically show you because it's actually sitting really high up on our open shelves are the really cute kind of hammered copper canisters. I think they look great in our kitchen and it is exactly why I got them. They don't serve a real purpose. <laughs> they just kind of look nice on our open shelving, but that's okay with me. I mean, that's ultimately why I chose them. If you go back and watch that video, I'm like, I think that this would look great on open shelving. Very happy I chose those as well. So while there were a ton of items from the fall 2020 box that I absolutely loved, there were a couple that weren't my favorite. One of those was the sponge gel, and I know that this is controversial, but I did end up giving that away because it's just something that I didn't see myself using. I'm somebody that is very, I don't know, maybe germaphobic when it comes to things like that, and so that just wasn't for me. And the next item was the Glow Milk, and this was actually a liquid highlighter that seemed a little bit too intense for me just in general, but a ton of people left comments saying how oily it was, and I was so worried about that breaking out my skin and just being kind of irritating that it ended up giving that away too. So I didn't even try it, but I think I just know myself well enough to know that I wouldn't have used either of those products. Unfortunately, those were kind of misses from the fall 2020 box. And last but not least, this little wrap. This has lived on the back of the chair that I work in because our house, we don't have the best insulated windows and so it can get pretty cold where I work. So I always just keep this handy. And this has been the cozy. It's just kind of like nice looking little blanket scarf that you can put on. I'm on video calls all the time, so I do my best to look like kind of decent when I work. But another thing that I like about this is that if you wanted to wear this just as like a thick blanket scarf, you definitely could. I know that there's fringe and stuff associated with it, but like this is what blanket scarves look like anyway. And they're really long and cozy. And if we could go out and do things, I feel like I would be wearing this thing all the time, but it's been the perfect little work from home companion. So it's safe to say that the fall 2020 FabFitFun box was a huge hit for me. And I'm really looking forward to putting all of the winter items to use. So if you are just on a FabFitFun kick, wanna see some things from prior seasons, I'll be sure to link the FabFitFun playlist in in the description box below. And if you like this video, then like it. Stick around, subscribe, join the community, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.